All of us have heard on the news of children who reacted to an emergency situation in a heroic manner, saving the life of another child or adult. The fact is that most children can be taught to handle an emergency, including if there is a fire. This is the third in a series on emergencies that every child can learn to handle. In an emergency, the best thing you can do is tell your parents, a teacher, or another adult that you trust right away. But if no one is around, you may need to take action. The good news is that you can help if there's a fire or if you or someone else's clothes have caught fire. Here's what you need to know so that you can help and be a hero. Time is critical when there is a fire. Anyone in a building that is on fire must escape as quickly and safely as possible. And if someone's clothes have been touched by the flames, they must act very quickly so they do not get burned really bad. The good news is you can help. By knowing what to do, you can step in during an emergency situation and perform an act of kindness. Here's what you need to know for yourself and what you can do to assist someone. Prevention is always the best. If you are a child, you can be sure that you or others are not cooking without an adult present, that you keep clothing and towels away from the stove and fireplaces, and never ever play with matches or lighters. You're going to have a plan. Mom and Dad have a family escape route and a meeting place. Be sure you know what to do and where to go once you are outside. And then, most important of all, practice. A plan is only as good as you have practiced it. You should practice with your family and can play fire safety games with your brothers and sisters. Every child should know the names of each room, and every room should have two exit options. You want to have a safe meeting place outside the house that is close and in the front of the house, but not so close as to be in danger from the fire. Your meeting place should be something that is not going to move like a tree or a telephone pole. Fire safety basics should also include knowing that if we smell or see smoke, we want to crawl close to the floor as we make our escape, getting outside quickly and staying outside once we have got to our safe meeting place. We can also learn about feeling doorways with the back of our hand for heat to make better decisions about opening a door as an escape rope. Most important, though, is practice as a family. Can you stop, drop, and roll? Don't forget to cover your face when you roll. The motion of rolling will smother the fire. You can help someone else. Don't be afraid to yell it. Stop, drop, roll, if you ever see someone who has clothes that have started to burn, too. Knowing and practicing these safety drills can make you a hero in an emergency. Parents, making and practicing your family escape plan is important knowledge for your children. They will feel more confident knowing how to react in an emergency. Keeping our home safe and making safety as a number one priority will ensure you and your family the best possible chance of surviving an emergency situation. One of the best websites for children parents, and teachers on fire safety is www.firefacts.org. There are more tips and games for the kids to play to test their knowledge about fire safety. Balanced Life Skills is providing these safety tips as a part of our self-defense program for the community. We welcome you to visit us at our studio to see how we are building character, confidence, and contributing to our students in Annapolis, Maryland.